be the, uh, you know, you asked me earlier how I was getting to know young guys. I've told this story three times today. But um, I was in high school. I threw mid-80s. Wasn't a big recruit. I got some offers for some small schools. Uh, didn't want to go there, so I just went to University of Florida uh, to try and walk on the team. And I wasn't interested in I was a good student, and I, you know, valued education. So I said, I'll try to walk on, see how it works out. And uh, my freshman year, I got cut, thrown overhand. Sophomore, uh, freshman year, I just went to school and worked out. And then my sophomore, freshman, sophomore summer, a friend of mine was pitching in a Jacksonville Municipal 18 and over league. So anybody 18 and over could try out for these teams. And he asked me to come pitch for his team. So that's when I started goofing around throwing sidearm. It's the first time I'd ever played baseball where there was no results, didn't matter quite as much. And I started throwing sidearm, playing shortstop, did a little cleanup in my off days. And uh, I had so much fun doing it. And my dad, like all baseball dads, loved watching baseball. So he came out to watch me pitch and said, hey, man, you're onto something with that sidearm. You should go try out again. So this is where the st story comes full circle. One of the Yankees employees, Pat McMahon, um, anybody that really knows baseball knows Pat McMahon. He's a wonderful person and baseball coach. He was my coach in college. Uh, we had walk-on tryouts again. Uh, you know, at the risk of being Rudy, I tried out again and made the team, you know, became a closer, got a scholarship, uh, played there for four years, played for Coach McMahon, and, and learned a lot about baseball and about life. And, you know, if he had never had those, I told him this the other day, if he had never had those walk-on tryouts, like a lot of D1 schools don't have them anymore, uh, I would never would have played college or professional baseball. And, you know, who knows where my life would be. So I'm excited to, to be here and, and be, you know, uh, part of this organization where, where Coach Mack is as well.